Hi, I'm Rob, Product Manager here at Gallagher, looking after the Command Centre. With me today is Mike, one of our engineers, and one of his day-to-day -day responsibilities is maintaining and overseeing our Command Centre deployment here for Gallagher, located in Hamilton, New Zealand, but also looking at our global offices as well. So today we're here to talk, here to talk about Milestone. Milestone is a company we've had a partnership with for a number of years, and what we've done recently is engage with them to really enrich in our interface um, to pro provide more options, uh, more flexibility and a better user experience for our customers. So Mike, could you set the scene for us? What does access control look like for Galha? Absolutely. We have quite a number of sites uh, around the world. We have uh, one in Australia, the US, Canada, uh, the UK and we have quite a number of sites here in New Zealand as well. Across all of the sites we've got about six servers that look after all the sites and all join together. Attached to that six servers we have nearly 300 doors and about uh, 1500 people that go through in and out of the doors daily. Here in New Zealand um, in the head office, we, obviously we do have the head office which accommodates for our nearly 300 um, R&D staff as well as factories that manufacture our plastics as well as our electronics and certain wires as well. Uh, here on our site as well we have about 24 hour um, access so people are, you know, our factories are basically running 24-7. So the level of security that we have here is completely is varying between high level of security for our high, uh, for our high security cu customers as well as um, just general access for around the site. We also use our system as a sort of a beta testing test bed uh, where we have it integrated with a number of other platforms like Salto and Aperio and of course here we've got Milestone as well. So Mike, 12 months ago we started to roll out Milestone Systems as a CCTV solution here at Hamilton office. Can you tell us what that footprint looks like? Sure. We had an old system on our site, so we was using old ex um, coaxial cameras and everything like that and it was integrated into Command Centre but it's come to its end of its life. So there was a massive driver for upgrading the uh, CCTV system as well as wanting to be able to uh, accommodate for any leading edge technology that was coming out. So Milestone became the perfect fit and the great partnership for us. We ended up with over 100 cameras on our site and out of those 100 cameras we have about 140 images coming out of those cameras. The main component for the CCTV system was for health and safety because we have a lot of hazardous areas. People may bump into each other or things may fall or crash and stuff like that. Uh, we also needed a CCTV system that was going to be able to seamlessly integrate into command center, uh, which we have now, as well as be able to protect our site from security uh, breaches and so on and so forth. The other reason why we went forth Milestone is because, like I said, it's on leading edge uh, technology, so we want to be able to future-proof ourselves just in case we want to look into AI and technology or deep learning or stuff like that. So the recent work we undertook within our Milestone interface really deepened the experience for the users and gave the customer, I guess, the flexibility to choose which workstations are best suited to be Galaha-centric and which could be Milestone-centric, depending on um, their day-to-day -day job. So walk us through both of those, I guess, starting with Galaha. How do you use the interface on a day-to-day -day basis? Absolutely. So the way that we use it on our site at the moment is we have site plans integrated as well as milestone integrated into for monitoring purposes. So if we have a camera that's gone offline or if the system's gone offline, then command center will alarm uh, and then we can respond to fix whatever the problem is with the cameras. The other thing that we do do is that the guards can use our system to seamlessly move around on our map here uh, so that they can look to see what's going on and to check to see if anybody's not doing anything silly with our um, car parks or watch what's coming in and in and out of our driveway like this one here. So we can see quite clearly how well the traffic is going and moving and so on and so forth. The other way that we do it is if um, a guard has gets an alarm immediately, like we've got one right here, they can click on it and then they can open up and expand on all of the details and the information that they need so they can see that the door was denied access by Leah and then they can see a live view of that camera that's associated to that door. 
So the other way that we have it integrated is the guards can actually use a playback feature on our alarm stack so that they can go to the alarms. Like what we've got here is uh, access denied by Leah Jones that she's tried to access through the door. And then we've got a playback video of it to see what was going on. So we can see that she's trying to get in, she was okay to get through the first door, but as she tried to get through the second door, she was denied access. And then we can keep playing this back over and over. And um, it's been very, very helpful for the way that we do things. That's great, and control challenge is something else that uh, sites could choose to use as well for some scenarios. Yeah, so on our site we do have one area where we do that, whereby our other person comes in and then late at night the guard will check to see if that person is the correct person and then they'll let the person go through the door. So we're just going to walk through a scenario I think where one of our colleagues, Leah, is on standby. We have um, Leah who's going to be able to walk through our building and then we can follow her through the stairwell and see where she's going and what she's going to do is she's going to enter through the buildings and then she's going to try on some of the doors as well which will generate some alarms on our system as well. So she's going to try and get through a, a secured office and then she's going to go upstairs and carry on. So we can follow her and see what she's doing and then we can see um, alarms that are generated on the, on the system as well. And while she's doing that we can follow her through uh, and see what she's doing. So as you can see she's going to the next door, she's going to try a door that she can't get into and she's going to get an access denied. And then we're going to move up to the next stairs and watch her come through on the next set of cameras. So as you can see we're very very cleanly watching them. So we can see that she's coming up and she's going to the next set of stairs. and then we're just moving on to another one. So we can carry on following her by going through each floor and making sure that she's okay, she's safe, or um, somebody that we don't know, that we can make sure that they're not doing anything dodgy. And then let's just carry on through to the next floor up. And as you can see, we've got an alarm here, so it's gonna open up the alarm, but we'll go and move on to the camera and watch the camera. And as you can see that she's tried this door again and um, and again she can't get through the door. So she's going to go through the last set of stairs and onto the, our conference area where we're having a conference at the moment. And then we can see that she's walking through the conference. and then on to the next area so we can make sure that she doesn't get into trouble. So as you can see with our command center system, we were able to follow Leah through the building uh, to make sure that she wasn't doing anything silly or if she needs to be safe then we can keep track of her as she goes through. The way that we've got it is a pretty powerful integration. That's great and it really shows the capability that's available to a command center operator. Now can we look at it from the perspective of a milestone operator? Sure Rob, what we've got, um, the way that milestone is integrated with our system um, is the way we can actually see a couple of cameras here that are connected and live view, live streaming. Uh, the way that we've got it is that the way that we can actually see when people have access granted or access denied through these particular doors uh, as well as unlocking um, a door like this one here. So as you can see we've got live stream that we're unlocking the gate. We can also use this um, ticker tape to also play back to any particular event so that we can see if that person was a real person. As you can see here we've got our courier who's coming through. Uh, we can confirm that that was the right person and then uh, we're happy to move on with that. The other features that we've got uh, working in Milestone is we have what's known as an alarm manager and under the alarm manager the operator can process an alarm, they can check the alarm and see what's happened. So in this case we've got a door open too long alarm at the gate and it's showing us uh, the feed, what's happened at the time and then we can also process that alarm from the milestone side so we 
click on acknowledge and that will acknowledge it through to command center and command center will close it off as well. Uh, we can also close it as well, which basically processes the alarm completely. Under access control for milestone, there is also a way that we can actually search our card holder. So if we're looking for Leah again, we can find Leah Jones and then we can see what she's been up to recently. So we can go to the card holder events and it will just bring up all of her details. Obviously she hasn't done anything lately. Also we can go through and check to see the status of the doors. As, as you can see we've got a couple of doors here and some of them have opened and closed and we can also control those doors here from this panel. So as you can see it's already unlocked but if we click on unlock it will unlock the gate again. Well thanks Mike, what a great overview and hopefully you've been able to see how seamless our milestone integration is and really you've got the choice to deploy it as best fits your needs on your system.